my face. I ain't got no words. I ain't got no words. Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Jimbo Splice Gaming Project, and today I'm going to bring you my Munitions Controller loadout. Um, munitions is probably my favorite power to use as a controller because the stuns and the crowd control um, animations and powers themselves are really useful, um, and they look really good, and shoot, you know, trapping guys in tiny laser nets is just, it's just cool to me, so I like to use this power, plus I like the supercharge, it's really helpful. Um, it's a shield and a big power over time to everybody else, and it saves people's butts. And, um, and plus the DPS part of it is really good and it's really easy to use, so I really like this power. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the loadout with you guys, and then I'll discuss the way that I use the power and show you guys a couple of uh, the little tricks that I use to be, uh, to be more proficient with my power and, 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 stay, and conserving it. So, and I'll show you guys, you know, like the weapon to use, the combinations to use, how to clip it properly, because you do clip with controlling if you want to be more proficient. You, you clip your POT with your big power return, and, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, and uh, I'll uh, also I'll show you guys like you know how to mod and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, power trees, guts, uh, go all the way down the middle just to get mini nuke. That is going to be your uh, damage debuff. All right, so anytime you use this. It's going to put a little red target on you. Mini nuke. It looks really cool. Drops a big nuke on top of the, the enemy's heads. Um, and it debuffs that the, uh, the primary target from doing more damage to your group. Alright. And you notice there that I also used a weapon mastery combo. And you saw the red rings pop out around my character. That is... That is uh, what that does is that reduces the amount of power it just cost me to cast that mini nuke. So... And I'll show you guys, I'll explain that in more depth in just a little bit. But I'm going to keep doing that every single time so you guys see how you should cast these powers. In the glory tree, you get laser net launcher uh, for your power over time. You get reload, which is your uh, big power return. You get survival, because that's going to help you pick up opponents, if, or pick up your, your teammates when they get uh, knocked out. So you pop this power, and it will uh, deton enemies from attacking you, and cause them to leave you alone and kind of give you an immunity and control effects so you can pick up people without getting disturbed. Um, get multi-net launcher uh, for your uh, heal debuff. I hardly ever run a heal debuff because hardly there, there, there aren't a lot of uh, bosses that need uh, heal debuffs because they don't heal themselves. So I will hardly ever use this power. But if there is a boss that does a big you know, self-heal, then I'll throw this on and I'll pop that whenever he tries to do it so that way you know he's not regaining all that damage we just did to him. Um, I use smoke grenade launcher as my defense debuff and the reason why is because even though the debuff only hits one target the smoke grenade launcher a stun hits multiple targets not just one or two it hits a lot and uh, it's a really good uh, stun because it locks them right in place but doesn't leave them there to where the tank can't pull them so if they're choking on smoke the tank can still pull them in close so the DPSs can do their thing and really, you know, go to town and get those enemies out of there. A lot of people like to use encasements. I don't. I don't like to use encasements because when you hit the encasements, they get knocked around or the tanks can't pull them. And it's super annoying. It's, it's not very group friendly to use those powers. So I prefer not to. I like to use the, the you know, the in-place stuns and the stuns that aren't hard locked so the tanks can pull them. Uh, Alright, for my supercharge, I use act Active Protection System or APS because it gives the entire group a shield and it restores a lot of power to the entire to the entire group. It's, it's awesome. I love this supercharge and it really it really saves you you and your group when you're in a bind. Um, so I use it in case of emergency. All right, iconic powers. Uh, intimidating gaze, plus 40 dominance. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon for the 75 bite and the 125 power. And then because I had two more power points and I don't really use anything else on my troll, uh, I got 200 defense and 200 health for survivability. Alright, here's what the loadout looks like, guys. From left to right, you want your laser net launcher and your reload. And the reason why I do them like that is because I clip. Every time I use power over time, I will clip my big power in with it. There's no sense in not doing that because people always need power. So you might as and and you can clip these two together uh, with with any power. You can clip the POT into the uh, the, the big power return 
on every single power. So make sure that you guys are doing that. Anytime you throw a POT, clip it in with a reload. It's pointless not to. It doesn't really use that. It doesn't really use a difference in power where if you do your weapon mastery and then your POT and then do a weapon mastery and a reload, you're just wasting time. Do the two together. Anytime you need to do a POT, clip it into your big power and save yourself, you know, a few seconds. Because stuff happens fast in this game and you want to make sure that you're pumping out power quickly. All right. Next, I use my smoke grenade launcher, my defense debuff. And then I have my mini nuke on there for my uh, precision debuff or my damage debuff. Then I keep my survival on there. Uh, keep in mind though that you can switch that out with your multi-net launcher, which also is a pull for running content without a tank. And you, you want to kind of try to keep things grouped together for everybody. You can you can take off uh, survival and throw your multi-net launcher on there and kind of use that as a pull. A tap or hold range, it will uh, pull the netted target towards you. So that way you can kind of group them together. You're sort of like a trolling tank, but you're not a tank. Don't forget that. You're not a tank. You will die. So be careful with that. But most of the time, I don't run that anyway. Um, and then, of course, my supercharge, my APS, 50% 50% supercharge in case of emergency. People need a shield. Somebody died or I died and, and, you know, we get revived. And you need to get power out there fast. Throw that up there. All right. Skill points. In the super speed, of course, throw the one in your speed force or whatever your movement mode upgrade is. And then in the weapons. Very important. If you are a troll, you need to use brawling with weapon mastery. Anybody who knows how to troll uses brawling with weapon mastery. It's super fast and it reduces the power cost of using your powers and it's it's probably the quickest way to get power out there. Alright, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Brawling mastery, uh, you need back fist and haymaker, so you go all the way down the middle, make sure you get your haymaker, go to the right, make sure you get your back fist, and then make sure you always, priority number one, get your power heal crits then your Vite, then your Power, then your Dominance. So it's Power Heal Crits, which you get a crit increase after you put three Power Points in, in anything that says, it's gonna say Dominance, Power Heal Crit, Vitalization, Power Heal Crit, or Power and Power Heal Crit. It, that top row right there will always say Power Heal Crit after that slash. So make sure you get those first. Every single weapon tree, get those first. Then get your Vite. Every single, go through every single weapon tree, make sure you get all the Vite that you can. And then you want to get power. And then you want to get dominance. Because dominant, you need to, you use dominance for crowd control. But uh, it's not as important as your Vite and your power. But most important is your power heal crit. Alright, make sure you get those. Alright, and then of course, um, in this tree, you can't get Shuriken Storm Mastery until after you get the, uh, the Weapon Mastery in Martial Arts. Alright, but that's the one you're going to want to get, Shuriken Storm Mastery, that's the fastest one because it's just a tap range, hold range. Tap range, hold range, then hit your power, and it will give you the little red rings, which means it worked, and the amount of power you just used is less. Alright, so once you get Brawling, go all the way down to Wep uh, Martial Arts. And you'll see here, you need to get all four of those powers. Knee launch, cartwheel kick, spinning punch, and enhanced shuriken. You have to get those. So go all the way down the middle. You get knee launch, cartwheel kick, spinning punch. Then go over, get shuriken storm, so you can get enhanced shuriken. And then and then you throw, you know, however, more, however many more power points you need in there. Throw them in there, so that way you could get that. You, you need to get 20, so you can activate the mastery. In it. And then you just go right back over to brawling. And now this will be accessible, so you throw that power point, or you throw that skill point in there, and, and then you're done. Then go back to martial arts, because it would be a waste to not go ahead and finish off. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much will anyway. I think this is, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 10, and then I put, uh, 6 more in there, so 16, and then 20. So I put 4 in the power tree, and as soon as that, I hit that... And then I went back to brawling, got my uh, martial, uh, my shuriken storm mastery, and then I came right back here because I've already put 21 points in that tree. Now the bottom row is active, so get your big, you know, bite and power increases down there, you know, the tier, the tier four bite and power. All right, and then every other tree, just go right down, get your main four, and then get your power uh, heal crits, and then uh, look for all the bite. Um, first, right here, they all look like that, the little spiral, and then. And then after Vite, get as much power as you can. And then after that, get as much dominance as you can. So now let's talk about mods. Real fast. Alright. I don't have all my mods on this troll. Um, so the way you want to mod is uh, in the blue sockets, you want to go uh, Vite and Dominance. 
In the blue sockets, you want to go Vite and Dominance because you need those 10% critical power magnitude affinities for putting the right you know, color mods in there. Um, in your neck, you want to get Escalating Replenishing Procurements 5. In your weapon, you want Replenishing Adapter. Uh, for Munitions Trolls, in your head socket, you want the Supercharged APS-3. Uh, in your back, you want Breakout Regeneration. In all your yellow mods, you want Vite. Uh, some people like to go Vite and Power. Some people like to go just Power. I'm, I like to go Vite. I like the higher my Vite, the more, the more power over time I'm going to give you, and the bigger my big power return is going to be whenever it hits. All right, um, in the chest, you want Vite and Precision as a munition, or, I mean, you could do Vite and Might, but I prefer Precision because I use my Weapon Mastery, so I, I chose that Vite and Precision to get that 10% Critical Power Magnitude Affinity. Um, and so both red sockets get Vite and Precision. You could do Vite and Might, but make sure you do, you know, make sure that you're doing an orange mod in there. You want Vite and Precision or Vite and Might. I prefer Precision though. Uh, once again, you know, yellow socket mods, I do Vite only. Um, let's see, oh, and then the chest mod, get Reserve Tank. It used to be broken, it's not broken anymore. It increases your maximum power pull by 25%. You want that. So make sure you get a reserve tank in your chest. Breakout regeneration breakout regeneration in your back. Uh, on your feet, you want to get deadly block. I haven't put a mod in there yet because those aren't the elite boots, but I will. I have a couple of uh, Vite mods that I'm going to throw in there uh, once I get the elite boots. Um, in the uh, waist, same thing. Yellow mods, put Vite. Uh, in the hands, put max get max damage. Just, just... It, it increases uh, your damage by 10%. So just throw the hands mod in there, put max damage. Uh, blue mods, fight and dominance, and that's that's pretty much it. All right, so that's how you're going to mod. Uh, for sodas, make sure you get vitamin sodas. It increases your vite. Um, for your trinkets, uh, use the control trinket. It increases your vite by uh, 1,039. Um, get the central city trinket. It's awesome. It's very useful. It increases your vite by 240 and your dominance by 192. Um, Get it. If, you, if you have the chance during the next summer seasonal, if you don't already have one, get this little Chanter. He's a nice little pet to throw out there. He increases your Vite, and he restores power to you. So, I mean, he's super useful, uh, and he's, he's an extra body on the battle, battlefield. And then, of course, get your Supply Drop, because whenever you run out and your, co your soda's on cooldown, you and the healers, you know, and the tank around you, they may want, you know, more power real quick. You drop that Supply Drop, and you're good to go. All right, now, I'm going to show you guys... Um, how I clip my POT with my uh, big power return and uh, you know basically how to use the weapon mastery and, uh, and I'm going to show you what each power looks like and what the uh, what the what the little icons look like so you know how the debuffs work all right so first you start off with the tap range hold range just like that that's your that's your martial arts weapon mastery or your brawling weapon mastery the uh, shuriken storm mastery just like that all right tap hold tap hold Alright, so what you want to do is, you tap, hold, and clip your first two together, just like that. I just hit POT, and a big power return, and he's netted now, because my POT is a net. So, and then I'll just keep popping weapon mastery, big power return, weapon mastery, big power return. And after about five or six of these uh, big power returns, I'll clip the, the POT and the power return again. Because if you, you see there, I just got a double, a double tick. I got a 680 and then a 740 something, alright, because I'm now using, because I didn't wait for the POT to end before I hit my POT again, it's about every 5 or 6 uh, ticks, you throw that POT again and you will get a double tick, the group will now start to get double power over time because you're hitting them twice with the POT, alright, so it's, it's basically it's every 5 to 6 seconds you're going to get you're gonna hit that POT again. So, but remember, like I said, do not use POT unless you clip it with your big power because you're just wasting time. So you can you can throw up, you can refresh your power over time to the group and throw a big power out there all at the same time, saving you some time and a lot of people some headache. All right, and the same thing with your debuffs: weapon mastery, smoke. You see how everybody's choking? Those guys are all out of order right now. They can't do anything because they're hurting. And tanks can still pull them. That's what's great about it. The red shield means he is his defense has been debuffed, meaning your DPSs can now do more damage to that target. Alright, and it only works on one target. The stun works on multiple targets, but the debuff only works on the target you just hit with it. Alright, now, uh, for uh, your damage debuff, I use Mini Nuke. Just like that. You see a little red target underneath his name now? 
just like that. Uh, ignore the green foot, just pay attention to the red target. The red target means he is now uh, damage debuff. He does less damage when he attacks. That's it. Alright? And then if you're going to use your, uh, if somebody goes down, quickly throw your weapon mastery, pop your, uh, your survival, run over there, save him, because none of these guys can do anything to you, because you're basically a ghost. If the crap hits the fan, you throw out your uh, supercharge. So you can see, like, every single one of these powers are, they cooperate with the weapon mastery uh, crit, okay? So you will use less power casting them if you do the weapon mastery before you use the power. That's the trick to being a good troll, using the, the, right, the right weapon mastery and, and keeping your timing down. So that way you know when to throw that P.O.P. again, alright? Because the last thing people want to see is that little green lightning bolt underneath your name, because that's that's your P.O.T. signal. Every time that little green lightning bolt's not there, they don't have power over time. So every five to six seconds, or uh, ticks, throw that uh, throw that P.O.T. again and clip it with the, uh, the big power. So that way you're not wasting time, alright? And then just weapon mastery, big power. Weapon Mastery Power Return. Weapon Mastery Power Return. Every time. That's all you gotta do. A lot of people think trolling's boring, and I can understand why, because you just Weapon Mastery Power Return. Weapon, but I think it's fun if you're getting in there and you're doing the debuffs and you're helping out the group, because you're you're completely mobile the whole time. Like there's no there's basically there's no stopping you except for uh, mini move. That's the only one that holds you in place and it's very quick, so you don't really need to worry about that. Alright. So that's gonna be it guys. That's how I uh, use my munitions troll. Hopefully this helps you out, um, and I'm going to throw a couple of videos on at the end of this, so that way you guys can see exactly how I use this in combat. Um, I highly recommend that you use these powers because they are the most group friendly. They don't trap enemies in place where tanks can't pull them, uh, they stun the most enemies, um, and you know, clipping the, uh, the laser net launcher into the, the, into the reload is super, super helpful, it's, it's tight, it saves time. And uh, this is how I this is how I troll, and I and I've had plenty of people tell me that and they never they never have a problem with power. And uh, make sure you keep colas on you. Uh, I'm just fair warning. Make sure you keep colas on you. Use your use your bite cola to increase your bite, and then switch out to regular colas because it's going to wind up costing you some money. You will burn through colas as a troll because healers healers spam spam power, tanks spam power. A lot of DPSs use a lot of power. So you need to make sure that you have power to give them. So my best piece of advice is <laughs> keep colas on your troll. And I always do. Alright, so here we are in uh, Dark Side's War Factory. We're at the second boss. Uh, we've already taken out Mad Harriet. We're fighting Stompa. And you'll notice I am using my Weapon Mastery. I use my Weapon Mastery to do my uh, my big power back, my which is my reload. And anytime I throw my POT, I clip it with my reload as well. Uh, anytime I throw that laser net launcher, I see I clip it right there. And then I'm keeping my debuffs on Stompa. I make sure her defense is debuffed and her precision is debuffed or her damage is debuffed because Stompa does a lot of damage to the group. So I want to try and make sure I reduce as much damage as she possibly can by keeping that debuff on her. And 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 I'm solo trolling this. We've got two tanks, two healers, and one troll, me. And you can do the same thing. All content can be solo trolled with this in this game. It's, uh, it's no longer required to have two trolls. It hasn't been for a very long time. And if you're doing it correctly, you can do the same thing. It's not difficult. Um, and you see there, you know, I, I felt like those drones were kind of draining the power out of people too quickly. So I threw up my supercharge to kind of help supplement the, uh, the power back there. And uh, we'll go ahead and jump to uh, the last boss fight. We're taking on Granny Goodness and Darkseid. Um, this is late in the fight already. And uh, you know, same, the same thing. You pick your target. And you hit your debuffs and try and help those DPSs burn those guys out of there. So I put the defense debuff on Granny. Um, I keep the weapon mastery going. Um, and, you know, it's not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to. But as long as you've got the basics and the fundamentals down, practice, you know, you'll get way better. And, and you'll be able to do this all the time. And, you know, just keep your debuffs going. You know, and then once Granny's out of there, I switch. Switch my target. Put the debuffs on dark side. Those guys get them on out of there. All right. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, that's all you guys got to do. You can be a decent troll. Now, uh, let me talk to you guys about our, our league uh, recruiting real quick. We're looking for people for with 170 skill points, and we're looking for main trolls. So if you've got 170 skill points, hit us up. We'll run you through it. And if you're a troll, we'll definitely give you a good shot. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Later.